talking about a busy busy day it is Monday and uh, well I'm not busy too busy I've got Kevin going out all day all over on deliveries and I have two deliveries two pickups Hope everybody had a beautiful weekend it was a great weekend here the ground is drying up the yard is probably 90% dry you can actually walk around in there without uh, having to jump from puddle to puddle I have 66 today here at DFW in the middle of February I'll take it nice blue sky Alright, so we are now in Cedar Hill, Texas. About to pull in uh, to this subdivision and pick up the 30. I don't know about you guys, but I have a real hard time remembering, you know, 10 days later, where I was. Like, I don't remember coming here. But DRS says I have a 30 yard sitting here ready for pickup today. We're about to find out together. Oh, I remember this one now. This one was in the alley. It was a burned down house. So we're gonna go pick this one up. Now I remember it. Not a burned down house, but fire damage. This one had a nice long driveway for being a subdivision and uh, yeah, I can see the dumpster's pretty full. And there was a um, little curve to give me plenty of room to pull back into the driveway. Make sure I don't take some of this fence out. These gas lines, uh, are terrible. <clears throat> All the time when in alleys, they put them right next to the driveways. Gotta be real careful delivering dumpsters to alleys.
All right, just picked up this uh, 30 yard. Wasn't too bad, it feels heavy though. It feels very heavy. So my understanding is, looks like they got a bunch of roofing in there. It looks like a brand new roof. So a little bit of fire damage and a brand new roof and a bunch of other duct work and stuff. So it's gonna be pretty heavy. So we're heading to the landfill now to go see uh, what this thing weighs. Trying to record there, but the homeowner kept asking questions, and uh, I don't think I picked up the footage, unfortunately. Gotta love these alleys. Not too, too bad. All right, well, I just got a call for two more 30s for today. Uh, down in Blooming Grove, looks like a baseball or the school's baseball field. So I'm uh, going to rush to dump this one. I've got the original delivery scheduled for this one. I've got another pickup to do. Dump that one. That'll be my first one. Definitely became even, uh, even more of a busy day. So I'll take it. See you at the landfill. Like wobbly. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. She charged me a lot. Cause it's heavy. Put this stuff away. Get you guys a number here in a second. So I've got. I knew it was heavy the way it jerked my truck around. 10.04 tons. Twenty thousand pounds. Robert's waste removal. The card went through. That ended up being a one thousand two hundred dollar dumpster rental. Go dump it.
pulling up at this delivery. Got some excitement there going on, a little customer drama. Not even a customer, it's just some random dude calling, cussing out Alexis on the phone, saying that we called his number. He wanted to know what well, to talk to a supervisor and blah, blah, blah. So she got a little concerned there. Nice little houses over here, new construction. It is lunchtime. 11 15. I need to get something to eat. I'm starving. We are out in Kaufman right now. How you doing? Don't hit the bike. <laughs> okay. Don't hit the bike. That good? That's good. I'm sorry. Get the feature, you can leave the pin. Okay. This comes out. And then you can leave the chain on the ground too. We'll, we'll worry about the chain when we come pick it up. So you lift, lift that up and then. Okay. Okay. Just leave it open. Leave it open? Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and Okay. Open. Alrighty. Thank you, Hannah. Not a problem. You too. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye. This is filled all the way to the top with dirt. This is gonna be way too heavy.
This is all dirt. Here at Blooming Grove, today has been one heck of a busy day, so I may have missed a couple drop-offs or pickups or dumps. The last one I dumped was uh, the one that was full of dirt. Uh, that one I dumped at 17.56 tons. Put me just under uh, where I needed to be at. I'm here dropping off a 30-yard one of two uh, here at Blooming Grove High School. How you doing? Hey, brother. Good, good. Y'all bringing us a second one later on? Yeah, it'll be later today. Are you guys, I, got, I can come, I can still get in later? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If we gotta be able to get in and out. You can also go out this way and through the neighborhood. Okay. I haven't been that way, but they said that you can come in and out that way. It's the way all the parents are bringing their kids into practice. Okay. But either way you want. I'll go out that way just in case and I'll, I can yeah. figure out where it is. All right. Appreciate y'all, man. Not a problem. You'd be amazed how hard it is to give people business these days. I, I can imagine. I, I hear you. Looks like they're going to put all new lights. Uh, for the fields, so and that is all she wrote. There's one. Now I'm gonna go to Carrollton, pick up the Walmart that I dropped off on Friday. They are done with it already, and uh dump that one and then bring it back here yeah it looks like you're replacing all those lights pretty cool oh only an hour and 22 minute drive up to Carrollton from here freaking awesome all right so we are here Finally, hour and something minutes later, at the Walmart. And, well, looks like we're a little overfilled. There's a big old box. And 
they moved it because it was parked against a curb over there. Drive by it real quick and take a look at it. Looks like some temporary fencing. Oh, temporary fencing, kind of. fall off on the freeway. Right. We're 5:30. It is uh still got this dump and two more deliveries to go. So I'm gonna dump this one, take this one back to the yard, pick up a 20, deliver the 20, come back to the yard, pick this one back up, and then take it all the way down to Blooming Grove, which is kind of where I live. Well not really, it's past where I live, but uh but then I'll be able to just bring this truck home and then end after that one instead of having to come back to the yard again so that's the goal 5 30 that probably won't get done till at least 8 8 30 we'll see all right this one shouldn't be too heavy But that's thought I lost it. Huh? Uh, yeah. All right, not too bad. That one was only 1.19 tons, so I could tell it wasn't it wasn't heavy at all. So, fifty dollars and ninety three cents for 1.19 tons.
today. Almost exact same spot where I dumped last time. again. Easy money. Wrap it, a couple bubble tugs. Got a bubble tug right there, another bubble tug over there. Ugh. 
Let's get out of here. Oi, 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 easy, 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 let's go, we're going to swap this one out of the yard real quick, that's got to be one of the fastest times in and out of this landfill, not too bad, not even 15 minutes, or about 15 minutes, I'll take it all day, every day. There's a nice little line over here still, though. That's it. Evening dump. in the Mac real quick and take the Mac to deliver this 20 and come back and swap out again This can, he's got a full can on here. At least he's got a full tank of gas, full def. Set. We're still out here hustling. Hustling. 28. We got a lot of 20s in the yard, so I'm not complaining. Although I am a little tired. Let's see here. Where are we going? All right, we're off. Trying to hustle. Mm -hmm. Alright, I am running out of daylight. We are about 15 minutes out from this delivery of a 20. Whew. Then back to the yard, pick up the 30, deliver that one to the school so they have it for tomorrow. We're good. Doing good on time. And on a side note, this chair still squeaks. <laughs> drive and they want it on the left side if you're facing the house from the street and these headlights suck I'm just going to 
they're doing construction. Hello. How's it going? Hey, they want the dumpster on this side? Uh, right here. Can you put it where the truck's going to Okay, so I'll move out of the way? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. Oh man, it is dark, dark. Dark, dark. Uh, almost back at the yard. To pick up the international with the 30 on it and then to head down to uh, Bloomin Grove but yeah it's dark dark over here 706 p.m. you would think it's like 11 o'clock at night Almost, almost, almost. Grab my key since it's staying for the night. <laughs> nice work lights on the bottom of this truck. Don't really use them much, so. I'll find out ours, but. <sighs> All right. To Blooming Grove. Bunch of back roads, country roads, and. Oh, my sweater's on the ground. Don't like that. 
Да. Alright, so we are just about finally there, 8.20 p.m. It is dark out here, and I really hope the gates were left open. What in the world? This is not... Not sure how much of this you guys can actually see if it's not too dark, but it's pitch black out here, so. exactly 9 p.m. and I just pulled in that is a wrap for today ah I am now home make sure you like subscribe smash the notification bell Make sure you like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.